Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. As some of you may know, we're getting two new Extreme Z Awakening soon for the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and the physical future Gohan. And as far as I'm aware right now, the JP side is definitely getting them. That's confirmed. And I believe the release date is March 24th. But for the global side, it's still a bit of a mystery. It's a bit of a question mark because I don't believe anybody has said definitively that we're getting them or not getting them at the same time. And we also did have the Vegeta's Lineage category added to Global earlier than expected, which could be a bit of a clue for Global getting them at the same time as JP, but for the time being, I'm not really sure, so I have to keep you guys posted about that. But either way, JP is getting them soon, and Global will get them eventually at some point, so it's still relevant for both player bases. And in this video, I want to take you guys through all the details for their upcoming Extreme Z Battle event. And from what I can see right now, honestly, in my opinion, I feel like this is going to be one of the harder, if not the hardest, Extreme Z battle event we've ever gotten so far. And I could be totally off base on that. It could end up being like pretty simple, pretty easy. But just from what I see on paper, it looks like it's going to be pretty difficult, mainly because for the first time ever, after level 20, we're going to be facing two enemies at the same time in an Extreme Z battle event. And depending on how they balance that, how they you know, make those levels, it could be pretty damn difficult. So why don't we just jump right into it, guys? All right, so starting from the very top here, we begin this event by fighting the unawakened physical feature Trunks, and beating him will net you some bronze medals for both the Vegeta and the Trunks, and some physical orbs. And as you can see here, he's physical type, so ideally don't bring a lot of in types on your team. But the issue is that the effective category for this event is Realm of God, so gonna be a bit of an issue considering the leader for that category is the int ui goku i would just say bring ui goku as your lead because you kind of have to but don't bring any other int types on your team and you should be okay moving forward between level four and five you're still fighting trunks some orbs a kai over here some bronze medals and then six and seven you start going into the tech vegeta fight so for him obviously uh you don't want to bring agl types because he is going to do a lot of damage against them and the agl types in turn aren't going to do a lot of damage against him and uh, we start getting the tech orbs too. So from 8 and 9, we're fighting Vegeta still, more tech orbs. And then from level 10 and above, characters that are SSR or lower rarity can only cause less than 2 million damage. And this was essentially put in to nerf SR Devilman because they were getting tired of people bringing him in to nuke every single level. So now he's not useful anymore. So that's why that was put in. And then at level 10, we're still fighting Vegeta, some more tech orbs, Akai here, and the final bronze medals we need. And then from level 11 and above, we're fighting the awakened version of Trunks now, and we're moving into the bronze medals for them. And uh, at level 13 and above, he gets an additional damage reduction of 70% against super AGL, tech, and physical. So basically, all three of those types, basically all tech types, all physical types, and super AGL types, are completely useless now. I mean, they can still do a little bit of damage, but 70% is very significant. So I would basically say, stay away from including those types of units on your teams from that point forward. Moving on to 13, 14, 15, still fighting Trunks, two Grand Kais at level 15, and then we're facing Awakened Vegeta for the next five levels, I believe. More Tech Orbs, more Bronze Medals, and two Kais at level 20. Okay, so level 21 is where the real fun begins, or <laughs> I mean the real struggle for some people possibly. We're facing both Vegeta and Trunks, and I'm not sure how they're going to play this, how it's going to work, whether you know both of them are going to be as strong as a regular unit at that level for other Extreme Z battles, or maybe they're both going to be nerfed a little bit so it's a little bit more fair. But the other issue that this presents is of course type matching, right? So ideally, in the past Extreme Z battles, you would try to get type advantage, but because there are two different types, super tech and super physical, you're going to have to, you know, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to actually get type advantage and also be tanking with type advantage to take less damage. So that's another reason why I feel like it's going to be a really hard one, guys. But again, I'm not really sure how it's going to play out. They might make these guys pretty weak, so it might not be nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. But it does look a little bit scary right now, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so 21, 22, 23 and onward, we're fighting both Vegeta and Trunks, getting gold medals, getting both tech and physical orbs. At 25, two physical Grand Kais, and then 26 onward is rainbow medals, more orbs, um, to get more damage reduction as we go along, of course, and up to level 30 where you get your final rainbow medals, all these orbs, some Kais, 
and uh, basically get all the medals they need to fully extreme Z awaken both Vegeta and Trunks. And once it's all said and done, you're going to get 15 of the bronze medals for both of them, 40 silver, 30 gold, and 30 rainbow, which is going to be enough to fully extreme Z awaken both these units. And in addition to that, enough orbs, actually not enough orbs to rainbow both types, but almost enough orbs to rainbow a tech type and a physical type. You're going to be missing quite a few, I believe, small orbs and large orbs. But overall, still a good amount of orbs. Not as much, obviously, of one type, but it's still a good amount. I'll take that. Okay, and six Grand Kai's of uh, tech and physical, and of course, 30 stones too. So good rewards overall, pretty standard for your Extreme Z battles. I just don't know how easy it's going to be to get all this stuff, considering, like I said, there's two enemies and they get a lot of damage reduction against multiple types. Um, could be tricky, could be tricky. Additional information here, so event restrictions, pretty standard stuff. Can't use Dragonstone to revive, uh, cost zero stamina until you replay them, can't bring items, and also Devil Man doesn't work anymore. Realm of Gods is the type advantage or the uh, special category for this event, but they won't be able to bypass enemies damage reduction against specific types. So if you bring like a super AGL Realm of Gods character, they're still not going to be doing much damage because they do get crazy damage reduction against Super AGL beyond level 13, I believe. And uh, let's see, let's see, like what else, what else? Oh, missions. So we have some missions down here. The missions can be cleared twice for each character, once for each character. That's awesome. So uh, you get a Hercule statue for performing step one of Extreme Z Awakening. And then step three, step five, and step seven will get you three stones each, but you multiply that by two. And also a Kai for getting to SA15, multiply that by two, so six stones and two Kais for the missions. Pretty solid. So that is the Extreme Z battle event for these guys. I Like I said, I don't know what it's actually going to look like once it comes out, but from what I can see right now, it could be pretty damn tough, guys. It could be pretty damn tough. Best of luck to everybody. Um, I guess I'll have a better idea once it actually comes out. I can watch some people actually play it, but just, just be ready. Be ready. <laughs> um, let's move on now to the actual units themselves because I know that some people didn't see my past videos talking about them so I want to show you guys what their Extreme Z Awakenings will look like. So for the Tech Super Saiyan Blue uh, Vegeta, his leader skill is going to be an all types leader skill of key plus 2 and HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack is going to be Supreme Gallic Gun, sorry, Father Son Gallic Gun. I think I read the Supreme Damage and put it here, I don't know why. Father, Son, Gallic Gun, Supreme Damage, all allies attack plus 30% for one turn. This passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 90%, very solid. Attack and defense plus 30% for all allies when two or more Vegeta's family category allies are on the team, which as you can see, is a significant upgrade to his old passive, which was only 70% attack and defense when facing one enemy. So huge, huge upgrade right there. Things stay the same, obviously, categories stay the same. Um, max stats will change, but they haven't shown them here, so that's Vegeta for you. And also the Trunks here. All types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%, okay. Father Son Gallic Gun, cause supreme damage, allies attack plus 30% for one turn, and his passive is key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 30% for all allies, and attack and defense plus 70% when two or more of Vegeta's family category allies are on the team. So again, Significant upgrade. He's a better support than before, much better because he does give key now. And also, he can be a bit of a damage dealer and tank when you have some Vegeta's family, like when you meet this condition, basically. So, the interesting thing is that they're kind of reverses of each other, right? Because Vegeta starts off as kind of a you know good solo unit, but becomes a solid support once you meet this condition. While you know Trunks starts off as a very good support and then becomes somewhat of a you know damage dealer, tank, just like overall good unit by himself if you have that condition met. So just something interesting I noticed, it doesn't really matter, but uh, they're both good Extreme Z Awakenings and you know, I hope to get them both done as long as I can beat the events, which I think I still can. It just might take a little bit more effort than I'm used to, so <laughs> we'll have to see. But that's going to do it for the video guys, that was the Extreme Z Battle Overview as well as the Extreme Z Awakening details for both characters. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about all this. I'm curious about your opinions. But that's all I gotta say, guys. As always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, if you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all of my latest content. That's all I gotta say, guys. Have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.